Hello, best friends. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So today I have a grocery haul that I want to share with you. I got it from Walmart and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. If you're new here, my name is Tanya. Welcome. I do have a few new subscribers. Glad to have you guys along with me here. Um, all of my subscribers are awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I um, picked up from Walmart. Okay, friends, so this is my rundown of my groceries that I did pick up from Walmart. Um, it looks like a lot on this table, but I don't think it's a lot for the money that I spent. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you what I picked up and I um, hope you enjoy this haul. So coming over here, these things here I got from the farmer's market. But I'm going to tell you what it is. This is some um, goat meat. I want to make some curry goat uh, for dinner one night so i did have a bag of that this is about two pounds of curry goat and over here is some rack of lamb that i also want to make as well for a night the rack of lamb was pretty pricey but that's okay i wanted it so i went ahead and and picked it up okay so now the rest of this stuff is all walmart so over here i did get three of the marie colander chicken pot pies these are a great lunch also a great dinner which is what I'm having for dinner tonight. I'm gonna to have one of these chicken pot pies for dinner, along with maybe a salad. So I did go ahead and get that. I did get a half a gallon of whole milk. Back up here, I did get some strawberries. These strawberries here look pretty good uh, for October. They didn't look too bad, so I did go ahead and pick those up. I did get three rolls of the one pound of ground beef. So I got three pounds of ground beef all together. I did get two packs of the Smithfield thick cut bacon for breakfast in the morning. So I also did get two of the breakfast, whoops, two of the breakfast sausages. I did get the Johnsonville, Johnsonville brown sugar and honey breakfast sausage. And I also got the Johnsonville Vermont maple syrup breakfast sausage. These are both really good. So I'm gonna put one in the freezer and have one just in the refrigerator for breakfast and also put one of the bacon in the freezer and one in the fridge as well. Coming down here, I did get a head of cabbage. I'm gonna make cabbage for dinner tomorrow, for Sunday's dinner. Coming back, I did get a cake. This is the Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Lemon Supreme. I'm gonna make this for dessert tomorrow. I did get a big thing of the Duke's mayonnaise. I did get some vegetable oil, the Great Value brand. Over here, I did get the four pack of tuna. I'm gonna prep some tuna salad, you all, and keep it in my fridge for lunch. Uh, because if I don't prep it, nobody will eat it. But if I do prep it and put it in the fridge, it gets eaten up within days. So I'm going to go ahead and prep this and keep it in the fridge. People can make sandwiches, eat them with crackers, however they like. And they get some of this Lando Lake spreadable butter for toast and bagels and things. Coming down here, I did get some chicken. I got a pack of chicken legs. These legs were $6.99 for this big pack of chicken legs. Under there, I did get a pack of chicken thighs, and the thighs were $7.78. And up under the thighs, I did get a pack of wings. We all know how pricey wings are. And the wings, these wings today were $13.83 for that pack of wings. Over here, I did get some of these split chicken breasts, and these breasts were $8.52. And I did get another pack of wings, and these were... $16.30. Yes, wings are quite pricey, but we love them, so there you have it. Over here, I did get some Zatarain's Cajun style smoked sausage. I'm going to put this in with our cabbage for tomorrow. I did get a thing of the regular um, salted great value butter to put in our freezer. I did get some cheese. I'm going to be making some macaroni and cheese. So I got two things of the triple cheddar cheese, and I got one thing of the Kobe Jack. This is the finely shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. This is not gonna be enough cheese. I'm probably gonna have to go back and get some more. I don't know what I was thinking, but that typically is not gonna be not gonna be enough. It might, but I don't think it will be. So I might go back and get um, another one of the Colby Jack, maybe one more of the triple cheddar, but I'll figure that out. I have a red bell pepper here that I'd like to keep these in the fridge as well when I um, need them. And I'm probably gonna put them in that curry goat over there. So, red bell pepper. I did get a thing of onions. We got some bananas. 
Coming back over here, I got some coffee creamer. This is the honey, cinnamon, and vanilla coffee creamer. This is a really good creamer if you've never tried it. We love that. I did get my favorite cold brew coffee, the Starbucks iced coffee, the blonde roast. This is really good if you like iced coffee. The blonde roast is um, very good. I got some Tropicana juice. My kids love these. This is the Caribbean Sunset. And I also picked up the Tropicana Pineapple Mango. Also a very good juice as well. This is also good like as a mixer for like alcohol and things if you like mixed drinks. But anyway, yeah, those are good. So I did get some club crackers, some club snack crackers. And this is the family size. And I'm not quite sure how many come in here. Oh, it comes with, there you go, Tanya, nine stacks. So we love these crackers. Again, good for the tuna salad or, you know, eat them with, uh, I got some cream cheese in the fridge. So it's going to come in handy as a good snack. I did get these celebration cookies. These are my son's favorite cookies. I picked these up for him. And yeah, he does not share. They're all for him. So we got some of those. He's 19. He's not a little kid. So he can handle those all by himself. Over here, I did get some coffee, just some regular coffee, some Folgers instant coffee on those days where we want hot coffee and not cold coffee. I did get two cans of the pink salmon, some salmon, so I'm going to be making some salmon croquettes or salmon patties for breakfast in the morning. So, yeah, so I got two cans of those. I'm only, I only need one can for breakfast, but I'm going to keep one in our pantry as well. Over here, I did get two green bell peppers as well as that red one. I did get a bag of lemons for lemonade or um, to cook with or whatever we need lemons for. My daughter likes to put lemons in her tea, so those are going to be get used up pretty quickly. I did get a bag of the raw shrimp. This is the Easy Peel Deveined Tail on Shrimp. This is a nice big bag of shrimp. The count on this shrimp is... What is it, 21 to 25, so 42 to 50 per bag. So that's a pretty big bag of shrimp. It's a jumbo shrimp. Over here, I did get some of the pink salmon with the skin, skin on fillets. We like the skin on fillets with the salmon. I did get these pans for my cake I'm gonna be baking on tomorrow. So we got that. Coming over here, I saw this Krusty's cranberry orange muffin mix. And I wanna make these um, tomorrow as well for breakfast. For this, you just need some water, some vegetable oil, and two eggs. So I thought this would be really fun to make, probably delicious as well. I'm going to go ahead and make those for tomorrow. I'll probably put up a short. You guys can see that tomorrow um, as a short for, uh, for my channel. I got some of these Jimmy Dean croissants, sausage, egg, and cheese. This is a very easy, quick breakfast that my son can put in the microwave. I can put in the microwave. My daughter is not really a fan of these, but she will eat them from time to time. But anyway, they can go in the microwave really quick. Easy, easy breakfast. The salads. Now, we love the salads from Walmart that are pre-made. They do have the bigger ones, but we tend to get the smaller ones. So I did get the chef salad. And, you know, this comes with the ham, the chicken, the Swiss cheese, the lettuce, and the creamy ranch dressing. So I got the chef salad. I got a couple of the Caesar salad, and I did get tower salads over here. I did get a Cobb salad with chicken and bacon. I should have got more of the Cobb because they like the Cobb salad as well. So we have salads in the fridge if anybody is interested in eating a salad. Down here, I did get some sugar. We were out of sugar, so I got the great value granulated sugar. We got some flour because we were all out of flour. I did get some eggs. This is the 18 count eggs. And I got the Coke Zero for myself. And that is it. And I have a case of water in my car that somebody other than myself will be bringing in. So yeah, you guys, that's it. That is my grocery haul. Again, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining my channel. And you guys are awesome. And I will definitely catch you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.